Hello, my loves, and welcome back to Let's Play Soma, a much more downbeat game uh, than the things we've been playing up to this point. Even more downbeat than Dark Souls in its own peculiar way. Very, very dark, possibly science fiction, certainly psychological horror. Um, I don't know what's happening at the moment. I honestly don't. Um, our pal Simon seems to be having some issues, um, both perceptually and physiologically. I think in this particular scenario, he's not what he thinks he is or what he assumes he is. I think he's like the other robots in this area, the ones that have been transmuted and altered by whatever this... this infection, this fungus, whatever the hell it is. Um, but I'm sure we'll find out. I'm sure we'll find out, and I'm fairly certain this isn't the only scenario. I don't know, I haven't, uh, I haven't looked it up or anything, but I'm fairly certain... Ooh, Why is it, whenever I start one of these videos, I just suddenly get a horrible, horrible sensation in the pit of my stomach? Jackie? Come in, Theta. Right, okay, so from that we can discern that something needs to be fixed. Some sort of power regulator or something, otherwise we're gonna get stuck. Oh, there's the shuttle, okay. But I don't think, I don't think it's gonna work. No, there's no power to it. So we can't get through. Hmm, now there are shades of Half-Life. It actually feels a bit more like Half-Life now. Hello? What about this one? Can we open this? Oh, we can open this one. This is more like a freight train, isn't it? What have we got here? Hello? What's this? Oh, hello. This is interesting. Manifest. Shuttle beat. Root. Upsilon B and Theta Primaris, maybe? Departure date. Items. Ticket. Uh, LW Tether. Okay, cool. Impact event. Pathos 2 Memo. Impact event. On this morning of January the 12th, 513, the comet Telos crashed into the Pacific Ocean. The impact ranks as one of the largest collisions ever recorded on Earth. All evidence indicates that the surface has gone completely barren and is no longer able to sustain life. Life. Pathos 2's unique location has provided unparalleled safety for our staff. Some structural damage has been noted, but no casualties reported. The largest loss was the weather and communication station located on surface platform Omega, unmanned, which is under the circumstances a small price to pay. Theta will hold an emergency meeting to discuss the future of Pathos 2 and ultimately mankind. More on the matter will follow. Overseer K. Forkiran. Interesting. Interesting. We've got a video. I guess it's a good thing we never had any kids. Hard enough looking my parents in the eyes. They're going to a bomb shelter upstate, by the way. Along with your dad. I'm guessing someone will help him send you a message somehow. Mm. I mean, I hope they will. Oh dear. I'm not even sure you'll get this message. If you do, I want you to know I never blamed you for following your dreams. It just... I was just mad it didn't fit better with what I imagined our lives would be. I really wanted to pick a fence, big family, you know. I guess what I'm trying to say is... I'm proud of you. And I can hear flies. You know it's been difficult to be separated from you. I regret nothing. I'm happy. And... I really wish I was able to say this without the sky falling down. Oh... Oh, well, that's sad, isn't it? Dear me. Grim. What a downer. Oh, no. Okay. So, there's one of those things again. The things that we found in the capsule. There's our little buddy. So, we need these items, presumably. I'd assume that's what it is. Hello. Handsome. Very handsome. 
And uh, there's a code down there. Look, I'm sure that's significant. Hmm. Interesting. My guess is we'll be going this way before long. There's even like shades of dead space about it. This does feel very much like the ship in the original Dead Space. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're not going to open, are you? Ooh. What's that noise? This isn't going to work, is it? No. No. Alright, alright, I get it. Insufficient power, so we've only got one way to go, which is this way. Yeah, don't mind me. I'm just walking through the mass transit tunnel. Oh dear. This doesn't look good, does it? Yeah, through the, the subterranean tunnel under the sea with millions of pounds of pressure on top of it. Wonderful. Ooh, hello. Ew. So whatever this stuff is, it looks like it may not even be alien. It may actually be from beneath the earth. Or maybe it's from the actual meteorite from the comet or whatever it was. And yes, I know meteorites and comets are not the same things. I'm, sp I'm speaking colloquially. Yeah. You can definitely appreciate why Lovecraft and other writers use oceanic imagery quite a lot in their works of horror, can't you? Because there is something distinctly alien. Oh, shit. What? the hell? Hi! What is that? Hey, are you- Don't hurt me! Can I help? They won't let me die. Nothing is allowed to die. Oh, no. Is that what's happened? It, the robots are programmed to not allow the humans to die under any circumstances. So they've kind of assimilated them and done everything they can to keep them alive, even when it's probably not in their best interests. Oh, that's really horrible. What happened? An accident. Fixing the power. I was going to Theta. Anything I can do? If you see Masters or Holland... Tell them I need help, okay? Amy needs help. Sure. Holy fuck. If I take that out, though, she'll die, won't she? Upsilon Station B. Okay. Tracks offline, safety systems offline. Basic systems powered. Oh, so this is, this is a choice. I can kill her or not. I don't really want to, I'll be honest. That's not really my bag. I mean... Is there anything else I can do? Does it matter which one of these I, I yank out? Probably not. No. Sorry. Are you okay? Can I put it back in? Oh, that was a mistake. Oh, but it's active now. Oh, I wonder if there was another way to do that. Look at this thing. Oh, that's a vicious alien-esque looking appendage, isn't it? Oh, that's not going to stand me in good stead, I can tell you that. Oh, the track's alive, aren't they? I'd better be careful here. Oh. I wonder if there was another way of doing that. I'll bet there was. Oop. Ooh, the orange is making it look even more like Half-Life. It looks like Lambda, doesn't it? Which makes a lot of sense. Is this opening now? Can we open this? No, oh, shit. Can we open this? Yeah! That's more like it. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, you're not going to open for us. Fair enough. So I'd assume. Oh, yeah. Open. Oh, this is cool. What have we got here? Pathos 2, floodable airlock, repair set, duplex pump, adaptable pipes times four. Is that a clue as to what we need? Hmm, oh, there's another code there. 4673. Hmm, I wonder. Oh, hello. Oh, we can use the Omni tool here. Shuttle J6 activated. Oh, Stand lovely. Bye. Okay, so. Lovely. Oh, cool. Okay, um. This all looks fairly simple, I suppose. Um. Emergence. Oh, I'll we'll have to remember that. Now what do we do? Do we just sit down? I think so. Oh, cool! Oh! So, where can we go? Ooh! We're here. We can't go to Upsilon A. Okay. We can go to Lambda, Delta, Theta, and Omicron. Can't go to those others. Let's go to Lambda first. Yeah. I doubt it's going to be that simple. When are these things ever? Uh oh. Oh, uh, I was. I uh, Pathos Two, your expressway to the stars. Hi. What started as a thermal mining operation in the '60s has now become home to the Omega Space Gun, the world's most affordable way to launch satellites and deep space probes. Okay. Our unique Atlantic Ocean location allows for this gigantic coil gun, running longer than a marathon, to safely launch projectiles without risk of damaging the payload with risky combustion. The station is packed to multiple sites and has a diverse staff of engineers and scientists. Together they are able to produce, assemble, and launch the world's most sophisticated spacecrafts. In addition to our principal operation, Athos 2 is also the home for multiple research projects within the marine sciences, including hydroculture, turbulence, and wow. deep sea construction. We are now leaving Upsilon for Lambda. Lambda is Pathos 2's shipping dock and transportation hub. Okay. There you will be able to find shuttle trains leading to all the other parts of the station. And transports to the Uh -huh. What's going on? What? Oh no! Oh! I knew that was gonna happen. These things are- it can never be easy, can it? Interestingly, very like the crash that he suffered in the car when he was a man, yeah? Yeah? Brilliance. Okay. It's interesting, isn't it, that all this is echoing certain other concerns? Yeah, I'll take my multi-tool, thank you very much. I have a feeling I may need it somewhere down the line. Yeah, I don't think it's any uh, coincidence that he crashed there. This looks like a very chasey area, doesn't it? And I can hear something. Simon. Simon, are you there? Mm-hmm. Catherine, is that you? I was on my way, but then the shuttle train, it, it fucking crashed. Are you all right? The system says the section is sealed for a suspected hull breach. No, I'm not all right. What the hell happened to the world? Why are we underwater? Well, you're really out of place, aren't you? No. <laughs> How close? Can I walk there? Yeah, but the tunnel is locked off to protect the overall structure from collapsing. 
What you need to find is your section's maintenance hatch. It'll okay. be outside. Maintenance hatch. No problem. What is that? What's going on out there? I gotta go. See you soon, Simon. Okay. Catherine? You okay? Oh no. Cheers, Catherine, I suppose. So the robots are trying to help, I think. Ah. Uh oh. I think the robots are genuinely trying to help. I want to see what's up here first. I'm being all curious, and that may not be a good thing. Ooh, maybe uh, it might be a good idea to use this, actually. Oh! Oh! The more Jesus we use Christ. them... What the hell? Oh, fuck. I see. The more we use those things, the more corrupt we're becoming, I think. So healing is a risk. That's interesting. I wonder if things pan out differently, depending on how much and how little you heal. That would be a very interesting mechanic, wouldn't it? Ooh, light. Is that sunlight? Or is that artificial light? Artificial light, I think. Ooh, what the... Oh god, this is a... a mess? Well, nothing else to do. Swipe Omnitool! What? Here we go again. Oh, yes. Depressurization! Yeah, this is rocking. I've got to say, I'm really enjoying this game. Just like all of frictional games works, you know? And where do we go? What's happening? Oh, that's what's happening. Cool. Okay, let's go. I don't know, uh, you know, whether I'm too keen on going outside again, but, um... Wow, this place is huge. I like the fact that Simon isn't questioning the fact that he can breathe underwater I now. Land them, right? I mean, uh, really, how big can this ocean be? Yeah, I know, right, Simon? A lambda is what we're looking for then. Okay. Jesus. There's another one of those big structures that I don't know what it was for. So I wonder how much of this facility is actually left and how much of it functions. Not much, would be my guess. God, look at the sediment in the ocean. So cool. These areas are amazing. Fishes. I wonder if uh, we're going to encounter those sharks that we saw the drawings of. My guess would be yes. Oh look, this is an actual part of the station. That's interesting. And there's air escaping from it, so it's been breached. I just heard something. Can you hear how heavy his footfalls are? Clomp, clomp, clomp. He's definitely one of those robots, I'm telling you. Wow, look at that! What the? Some sort of... Oh, right. It's like a vent. This is very pretty. Hello. Something over there. Woo. Hmm. A lot of the uh, a lot of the game is just ambient, you know. It's atmosphere in the same way Machine for Pigs was, which I like. I've got to say, I like the whole sort of walking simulator thing, uh, like Dear Esther and its ilk. I like them a lot, and this definitely has elements of that. 
It's atmospheric storytelling, environmental storytelling, and I must admit, I like that. I like that better than plot-driven storytelling. Always have. It's just my bag. Try to make sure that I don't miss things. Because I get the impression there's going to be a lot of secrets in this game. And probably a lot of alternative endings, too. Oh, yes, I can turn my torch on. That's cool. Hello. There's the lambda sign. So we're close. 350 meters. We're not that far away. Not really. Not for a robot. Which our friend is, I'm fairly certain. Mm. Wow, look at that, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. God, I wish I could walk across the ocean bed like this. It'd be amazing. Wow. Look at that. Is that a sub- it is, it's a submarine! So freaking cool! Look at that! There's the lambda sign again. Hello. Lots of ambient sounds. Lots of noises. Which I like. Whoop. Oh, it's one of those little bots that's actually a bit of a pest. You leave me alone, mate. Ooh, the way they- the, the fact that they speak with human voices is weird. That makes me feel very strange. Okay. Am I even going the right way, or is this the way I came? I can't remember. I think this may be the way I came, actually. Soon find out. Whoa, what the? Ugh. That was an interesting noise. That sounds like something potentially alive. There's a robot there. Hello? What's going on here? Ah! It's a way into Lambda. Fabulous. Must be okay, let's see what happens. <clears throat> Is she going to see us and start screaming? I've got a funny feeling that might be the case, you know. A depressurization. Oh my, isn't all this very interesting? God, what is it about oceanic growths and things? They just they're just so weird, aren't they? They're redolent of parasitism and cancer and whatnot. There's something very, very off-putting about them, and yet at the same time they can be very beautiful. Emergency life support, which is off. Isn't that interesting? Hard hat. I'm sure that's a lot of good around here, where, you know, now there's a- what- what the fuck? What the- Uh-oh. Catherine? That was a robot. Don't look at- Whoa! Oh god, that's scary. 
That's scary. Yeah, that's really fucking scary. Oh, what was that? That made me jump out of my skin. Is it still around? Is it going to, like, appear in front of me or something? Yeah, I'm shutting that. <laughs> Definitely. I'm Where right next to you. Oh, no. Hi, Catherine. How are you? Oh, look. Oh, fuck. Sorry, well, right here. I can see you. I can see you. No, not you too. I was really hoping you were human. Don't let the circuitry fool you. I was human once. Oh, she knows. More. This is... Everything's fucked. I give up. There's nothing left. Calm down. It's not the end of the world. You sure? It sure as hell looks like it. For all I know, there's no one left except for me. What do you mean? I'm right here. Don't take this the wrong way. But I meant any humans left except for me. Have you looked at yourself lately? You're a walking, talking diving suit with some electronics left on for good measure. I don't. You don't want to think about it? We'll start thinking about it. I, I, I don't uh -oh. want to do this anymore. I don't want to be this. I want out. Before you do anything hasty, could you help me with something? What? I was trying to find out what happened with my project when that brute knocked me to the ground. Your project? Oh. How could anything possibly matter when you know you're a stupid robot in a stupid dead world? Okay, focus. I need you to fix me so I can get back to work. Then you can sulk as much as you want. Okay, you fair enough. Kidding, right? I think I have a better chance of building myself a time machine than of putting you back together. I just need to access the computer. Oh, oh is that an Omni tool you're carrying? Oh, mm -hmm. the door opener? I picked it up at Upsilon where I woke up. I don't have to do. Plug it into the terminal. Sure, whatever. Sure, whatever. When He's the Omni tool is loaded, just plug my Cortex chip into the tool. What's a Cortex chip? It will be obvious. I'll eject it for you. Just grab the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Come on, I just need you to do this one thing Okay, for me. okay, fine. Sure, whatever. This may not be clever. Uh, he's taking the fact that he is a robot or just like this mishmash of electronics really well. There we are. Terminal 27 activated. The Omnitool is ready now. Should mm -hmm. be easy enough. Just pick up the chip and slide it into the Omnitool. Okay, it's cool. a robot chip for the door opener. It's standardized connect. Uh, Catherine? Alright. Let's give this a try. Fair enough. I suppose this may not be a good thing. No. Cortex chip found. Shutting down helper chain. Have a nice day. Pretty much anything will fit. Oh, this feels weird. Huh. I'm in the Omnitool? Thanks. So, what's the project about? My project? Oh, well, I saved all the people on the station as brain scans and put them into an artificial world. Right, okay. We were okay. going to launch it into space to save it from, uh, well, all of this. Are you telling me that you were going to launch a computer world filled with people into space? That's so cool. Yes. It was just a pet project at first, but it got really serious after the comet took out the surface. So cool. Then what a brilliant concept. Very important, and it was officially named the Ark. That's appropriate. How far did you get? I don't know. That version of me that I am. It came from a scan I did pretty early on. The living Catherine could very well have finished the project and launched it. Oh. I guess she could even still be alive. Uh, weird thought. Mm. So the talking robots, are they also scans you did? They could be, but I doubt it. I'd expect much more sense if that was the case. Ah, all right, finally. What's happening? I managed to restore some data from the backup server. This should tell us everything we need. Cool. Oh. Could you do me a favor and run into the other room and have a look? I don't seem to be able to view the files in this condition. I need to know that the Ark is safe. Sure, Kath. Thanks. I'll unlock the door for you. Fine. Thank you, Catherine. What was Ro I said before? You're from Toronto? Yeah, I just went in for a brain scan and suddenly here I am. That doesn't make any sense. How? Why would anyone bring a scan from Toronto? 
You think that's strange? What if I tell you it was back in 2015? Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, ladies and gents. I think we will leave it here. Lots of revelations to digest there. Very interesting. Still lots up in the air, though. How much of this is just a a simulation? How much of this is like uh, a narrative that his mind is telling him? Some sort of psychological construct of his therapy? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Um, maybe we'll find out a little bit more next time. Until then, ladies and gents. You say something? Sorry, still trying to figure out how you got here. Keep at it. I'd really okay. like to know who thought sending a Canadian to the bottom of the sea was a good idea. Yeah, me too. Uh, until next time, bye-bye!